Welcome back YouTube BST here Van Tech. Exciting video or at least exciting for me. I have here my very very old Samsung Galaxy S9 Snapdragon version. I bought that beauty from Japan. It runs the One UI 2.1 Android 10. Here I do have my son's Samsung Galaxy A32 running the One UI version 4.1 with Android 12 and here I have my base Gand of the White one year version 5 that's the fifth better guys and the android version is 13 so we have android 10 android 12 android 13 guys um what we're gonna do right now in this video well i'm gonna tell you but before i tell you make sure to subscribe for the channel if you like exciting videos like this if you find videos like this exciting that that's your channel if not and you're still here then really appreciate it guys what i want to tell you what I'm gonna test in this video is really One UI. I just wanna see how much One UI has changed from 2.1 to 4.1 to One UI 5. And because it's not so fair, and this is the S9, it's a premium phone, this is the S22 Ultra premium phone, and this is the A32, a mid-ranger. What I'm gonna do, guys, I am going to just tweak some of the settings. And this beast here can do 120. So to even things out, I'm gonna choose here the standard refresh rate, which means that it will run on 60 Hertz. On the A33, we have motion smoothness set to high, which means 90 Hertz. So I am also going to choose here a standard setting, guys, just to even things out. Also, here I am going to choose the maximum resolution for these devices. The S9 is a beast. It can do WQHD. I think I already have the WQHD on my S22 Ultra, guys. And yeah, there is no screen resolution on the A33, guys. So let's the test begin, guys. My goal is to check how much One UI did change from Android 10, One UI 2.1 to Android 12, One UI 4.1 to Android 13, One UI 5, which is actually still in beta and not finally released. And while we're here, guys, we're gonna start with the first thing. The first thing I always test on the phones is this. All right, so pay attention, guys. I'm gonna do this first on the S9 and also on the A33, okay? Then I'm gonna do this together on my Samsung S22 Ultra and the S9. Yeah, and then guys, I will leave all the commanding up to you. Let me know what you think your findings are. What I can say, of course, because I always give commentary, is that this animation is a bit slower in the earlier versions of One UI. So see here, guys, okay, one more time. One more time. And now like this, almost the same, I would say, right? Now that I even out the refresh rate, I do believe that they are almost the same here. Okay, now what happens, guys, when you just do like this, it's the notification settings, okay? And this is the next thing I'm gonna test. So here, notification settings, okay? One more time. Something that I discovered yesterday, guys, when you do this like this, guys, you're gonna get this very nice blur effect, which you're not gonna get here on the A32 with the One A41 and also here. So this is a bit more like even out on the S9 and the A32, all right? And if I have to do this here, guys, it's completely different. Overall, One UI 5 has really quicker, quicker animations, okay? That's not bad, guys, because I know really a lot of you out there, you are really up with speed, right? So, yep. Let me know what you think. What do you think works best for you guys? Something like this or something like this. So again, one more time on the A32. We do one four to one and one more time here on my beautiful S22 Ultra, which I think actually is a bit slow, by the way. When I do it right now on the Ultra, I think it's a bit slower even compared to what we have here. So this is slow, this is also slow, and see what happens on the One UI 4 one I'm not sure, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Okay, now once we're here, guys, uh, it's a good time to check also the quick settings. So quick settings like this, okay? And guys, I don't know really what you think or what you will think when you watch this video, but overall, it seems that One UI didn't really change so much. Of course, now they've adapted some new elements from the latest Android iterations, like the material U design, like all the steaming, and of course, this new brightness here. You can just see the slider is a bit different compared to what we have here. But overall, guys, it is pretty, pretty much the same. Now, of course, here in One UI 2.1, you are missing these fancy buttons like device control and media output the ones that you have here, but overall, to me, it looks really that the changes are really minimal. And also kind of the animations, see here, okay? 
I think that the changes, guys, are not so big. And this is why I was really eager to make this video. I originally wanted to make it only between the S9 and the S22 Ultra, but then eventually I said, okay, let's just throw in something in the middle. And this was actually the A32. All right, guys, what I want to try to do next is open some of the Samsung stock applications because, you know, they are really very easily comparable. So I have the clock here and also here. So let's just start the clock here. Okay, I'm going to start the clock here. One more time. And I'm also gonna start the clock here. So although there are some small tweaks that differ from each other, it's pretty much basically the same. And I understand this. I mean, it's really one UI and they are following their own design language. And of course, trying still to get in touch and align with the guidelines from Google. Now, let me show you something interesting, guys. I'm gonna go outside, see the animation here, see the animation there and boom. You see what I was saying, that the animations in the very latest One UI 5 iterations are very quick. So I'm just going to open that and now go outside. Boom. See, one more time. Boom. And just to make it a bit even more even, guys, I'm going to put it there so we can just have the chance to observe one and the same conditions. Okay, one more time. Okay, so when the up is closing here, guys, we have this like little bouncing effect. So like the icon just goes up a bit here, not so much. It's just like all center. The same happened also on the S9. And I have a feeling that the bouncy effect is actually even bigger here. So let me just try to put it there to even out the condition. Okay, and now boom. I think this one and this one are 100% dissimilar, right? This one and that one. Yeah, not so much. And also what is interesting is I have the feeling that yeah, the clock opens here quicker than on my S22 Ultra, guys. I'm not sure. Is it because of the animation? <laughs> That's really an interesting finding. Let me just try to do this one more time. Boom. Okay. Open faster. Right. Boom. Open faster. And though the animations are a bit different. Let me now also try to do this with the calculator. Okay. So opening the calculator. Okay. Going outside. Going outside. And just try to just bring that icon here again to try to simulate this very, very same scenario, guys. One more time. Inside, going outside, inside, all right, going outside. Let me try to do this here as well, all right. Yep, definitely so. Okay, yep. So see here. S9, guys, a legendary phone. What do you think? Huh? It's a legendary phone, guys. I have a story with this phone, guys. This phone fell from the seventh store, the whole glass back is broken and probably if you stick with me until the end of the video i promise to show this to you but okay first things first i think we check the apps opening now guys let me just also see how the camera behaves so i'm going to open the cameras okay and let me just try to put the front camera so we can see this everywhere and now let's just try to go out okay gear one more time camera you see guys the animation like the icon really bounces like crazy here as well one more time boom here as well, very straight, right? And when I go outside, guys, yeah, I'm just trying this again. All right, yeah. See, like this bounciness here just misses in One UI 5. It doesn't really exist, just, just not existing, guys. Okay. And honestly, I think I prefer this a bit better. One more time. Okay, yep. And one more time with here. Okay, and also these two guys. Yep, these two are very, very much the same, by the way. Okay, one more time. Okay, and now, guys, let me try to show you something else. I'm just going to go inside the settings so we can just see what happens in the settings menu and just try to see if there are any big changes there. And here they are, right? So the first thing you can notice is that the One UI 5 really, besides the fact that some of the icons are different, they do have also new options like the modes and routines and etc. The whole grouping is a bit different. And what I'm just looking now to see is what happens when you go at the end. Okay, so here, if I go at the end, guys, we have this very nice bouncy effect. All right, here you have the same. So let me just do those. Okay, if I do those, guys, you can just see this bouncy effect. And if I do this, guys, yeah, see here, they have this like end animation. Okay, see, which kind of indicates that you're doing something. See, when I do like this, guys, you have this blue animation here. You know, you're just able to kind of stretch a bit the screen. So it's definitely getting a bit different. And I think this looks a bit more modern. And besides that, guys, I think the other big changes is the icon. So here we have this icon set. The one in photo one icons are very much similar, similar to what we see here, guys. So let's just see the themes icon from One UI 5. It's almost the same. Actually, it is the same as with the themes icon from One UI 4.1. 
right? Now, what you can check, guys, is the recent menu. So let me just do like this, all right? We are now in the recent menu, okay? This pretty much looks the same. Let's try to compare the start animation, okay, here as well. Once we are there, guys, I think the scrolling is absolutely one and the same. It pretty much feel as if they're using one and the same 1A version. Though one big difference, guys, here, here we have the search box and also the options right here. We have a search button and we have this new fancy thing like active app in the background, which really comes from Android 13. What happens if we click here, guys? Okay, search menu, search menu. And if we click here, guys, yes. I mean, it's obviously clear that the S20 Ultra, of course, destroys all of those phones, but that's not the goal here. We're not just comparing those phones. I mean, they're not really comparable, but we just want to see the design language and just want to see what really has changed in the One UI from One UI 2.1 to 4.1 to One UI 5. Now, something interesting on the One UI 5, I just do like this, I'm going to get to my Google screen. Here, guys, you probably get the same, but it's not available on the phone white kit and here guys <laughs> you are gonna see just some standard samsung stuff and you probably can get samsung free but you don't really have the google discover here as being stock and guys another big change volume rocker here okay volume locker here pretty much the same when you click here guys you are going to get access to the whole settings absolutely unified and remember guys one ui 2.1 the very old-fashioned volume rocker which by the way exists even today in the pixel in the pixel 6 and the pixel 7 guys i'm not sure why android themselves like why google did not really change that one because what we have here is really it's really better it look, look more modern etc guys but okay this is the volume rocker now guys something i want to test what will happen if we activate the airplane mode so i know that there are some animations sometimes so see here airplane activated on my s22 ultra okay and now i'm just gonna make it back and yeah the plane will take off and etc so there is this small animation let's just try to do this as well um here it's pretty much the same animation one more time also on this s9 absolutely guys one and the same animation here we have like four or five years of samsung one ui development and some things don't really change guys although a lot of course has changed but the basics not and um, honestly i i love that i like that i mean there is this sense of tradition when you buy a samsung phone you pretty much know what to expect so although of course there's gonna be like big changes even if you go to the wallpapers and style guys like let me just show you so here, this is absolutely One UI 5 with the color palette and et cetera, right? Here, because it's One UI 4.1, we also have that because Android 12 introduced this material U design. Here, guys, remember, this is the very old and um, boring Samsung like wallpaper settings and etc. And I guess guys, this is more or less like the biggest differences. I'm not going to go into more details. And I promise you, if you stay with me until the end of the video, guys, yeah, that I will show you this beautiful phone that, uh, yeah, Sadly, my wife dropped out of the seventh store floor and yeah, that's, that's really, yeah, it's very nasty, guys. It, it survived like a drop from 30 meters and it's still operational. So Samsung guys are the best. I really hope that you like this video. If that's the case, then you are the best. Please, you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. And with that said, VST, over and bye.